breaking news, Nigerians. Yaya Bello, the former governor of Kogi State, finally arrested by the EFCC in midnight operation. Hmm. How it happened will shock you. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. And may God bless you all. Amen. The former governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello, has been apprehended and is currently in custody of the headquarters of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, in Abuja. These arrests occurred during a midnight operation in which law enforcement officers reportedly tracked him down in Lokoja. Sources within the EFCC have confirmed to Vanguard that Bello had previously maintained that he willingly complied with the EFCC invitation. However, the circumstances surrounding his arrest have raised significant questions, especially given his claim of cooperation with the commission. According to an insider, Yaya Bello, the former uh, governor of Kogi State, is presently held at the EFCC headquarters in Abuja. He was captured in Lokoja, where operatives pursued him and made the arrest at midnight. This development follows earlier statements from Bello's camp, indicating that he had responded to the EFCC summons, a recent announcement from the director of the Yaya Bello Media Office, Chari Michael reiterated that the former governor had indeed complied with the invitation. Michael elaborated, stating, Today, His Excellency Halaji Yaya Bello, the former governor of Kogi State, fulfilled his Economic and Financial Crimes Commission's invitation. This decision came after thorough discussions with his family, legal advisors, and political associates. He emphasized that the former governor has always respected the rule of law and governmental authority. Bellow's intention was solely to safeguard his fundamental rights and ensure due processes is followed in the matter. The situation has been under judicial review with Bellow's legal team actively participating in every court hearing. Michael further mentioned it is crucial for the former governor to engage with the EFCC to clear his name as he has nothing to hide or fear. He also highlighted Bellow's fate in the current administration under President Bola Tinubu, particularly in his commitment to driving Nigeria towards sustainable economic development and combating corruption. The media director noted Bello was the first Kogi State governor to implement an anti corruption framework designed to combat fraud and guarantee that state resources benefit the populace. Furthermore, he stated that Bello was accompanied to the EFCC headquarters by several prominent individuals, reflecting the significance. Of the situation. We trust that the EFCC will conduct its operation with utmost professionalism and respect for the fundamental rights of citizens, Michael added. Details regarding the nature of Bellows' interaction with the anti graft agency are expected to be reviewed in the near future. The unfolding events surrounding the former governor's arrest have become a focal point of public interest, especially given the broader content of Nigerians' ongoing fight against corruption and the complicities of political accountability in the nation. As the situation develops, many are watching closely to see how the EFCC handles this case and whether Bellows claims of cooperation will influence the course of the investigation, the implications of, the, of this arrest could resonate uh, throughout Nigerians' political landscape, especially as 
It pertains to the ongoing battle against corruption and the measures being taken by the authorities to enforce accountability among the public officials. Bellow supporters and the tractors alike are really observing how this incident will play out as it raises important questions about the interactions of law, politics, and governance in Nigeria, the potential ramifications for Bellow's uh, political career and the border implications for governance in Kogi states and Nigeria at large remain to be seen. As the public awaits from further development, I meant to say, the narrative surrounding Yaya Bello's arrest continues to unfold with both sides of the debate, free, fervently advocating for their respective viewpoint. The EFCC next step will be crucial in determining the outcome of this high-profile case. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, please. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.